Okay, this is us. Uh, technically, our last day here at the waterfront. So I figured I'd do a little video for anybody else that wants to stay here. Um, this is for the waterfront La Hood in Cebu City. So I guess now we'll go ahead and walk inside. Security guard out front with a dog checking for bombs and such. We'll see. Salama. Okay, so now we're here in the front. Uh, they usually have a live band starting later at night, maybe around 9 ish. They'll perform out there. Uh, this is the entryway in front. You see the elevator bank. They have a Victoria's Secret. This here on the left is their restaurant. And up top, there's a little convenience store where you can get pretty much anything that you need while you're staying here. Uh, further down where you see the escalator um, and you go down that hallway is the gym and the pool area. Over here to the right, you'll see the other half of the entrance that they have in the the little restaurant that they have in the lobby and you'll see the casino filipino up there which is pretty much the casino for the waterfront here over there you have the front desk you can't really see i'll get closer but if you look up top they got a really nice mural as soon as you come in all right now we'll take a little walk around. We'll go past the uh, front desk. Here's your front desk for checking in. As you can see, this place is uh, pretty big. Of course, public restrooms here's the other entrance usually when the taxi cab drops you off if you want to get be closer to the food you can uh, get dropped off at the second entrance but over there you can see the first entrance where they open the door for you down this hallway is all the uh, restaurants they have here at the waterfront uh, what you see on the left hand side right now is Uno the uh, buffet uh, has like you know pretty much American prices for a buffet um, in the morning the breakfast is about 20 bucks yeah 17 20 bucks depending on exchange rate and then further down you have a little pasta restaurant uh, okay can't remember the name of it right now but we'll take a short walk down there I won't walk all the way down because you can pretty much get the gist but they got uh, four or five restaurants down this uh, little walkway or this little hallway. Here's the bake shop where you can get sweet treats. Here on the left hand side is their Asian style restaurant, Tin Cow. And then right there to the right, right across from it, is their uh, pasta Italiano restaurant. And then further down, they have one more restaurant that kind of fits everything, kind of street food type of restaurant. So let's swing back around. Of course, there in front of us on the left-hand side is the escalator to take you up to Casino Filipino. And uh, in Casino Filipino, uh, we'll take a... We'll take a walk up there real quick. I won't go inside because I don't know if uh, you're allowed to record in there. But uh, the prices are really cheap. Um, we're talking about like roulette, 20 pesos for the inside, 200 pesos for the outside. That equates to about 50 cents for the 20 pesos. And the 200 is about $5, which is really, really cheap when it comes to table games. So here we are. We'll take these stairs. Oh, before I forget, here on the right-hand side, if you need anything, you can, uh, you know, rent your car, you know, tickets, concerts, anything you want to get, you can get from them here. Here are the stairs up.
Now we're up here at the uh, Casino Filipino. Not gonna go in there, but of course, security check. They have slots, a lot of American slots, a lot of table games, like I said, they have roulette. They play a lot of baccarat. No blackjack, not that what I saw. And they also have a band. Now the roulette starts at 2 p.m. Crap start at 8 p.m. Here you see their fountain. And now we will head back down and go to the other corner so you can see the duty free and the Victoria's Secret. Here, I'll do a shot so you can see the whole lobby area. All right, now that I'm up here, you can see the, uh, the convenience store right across from us. And then those double doors underneath the convenience store that's where all their conventions and boardrooms are. And of course, if you follow that hallway and make a left, there's more convention rooms and ballrooms. They've had a couple weddings while we've been here, so it's pretty substantial, pretty large. I've seen it fit about 100, 250 people. All right. As you can see, they're prepping for the live band right now. Give you a close up, zoomed in shot. All right. Now, where we're heading is right there next to the Victoria's Secret and Duty Free and uh, I'll wrap it up and then the next video, well the next part you'll see is us at our room. Alright. Okay here we are down here by the Victoria's Secret. As you can hear the band has already started playing. So you see Victoria's Secret has lotions and everything you might need for women. And then if you keep on walking forward, you'll get to their own duty-free shop, uh, you know, where they do pretty much anything duty-free. Um, their selection is not as big as the one at the airport, but it's pretty substantial if you want to just buy something duty-free and you're in the hotel. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head back towards the elevator. And then from there, we'll uh, head upstairs. And uh, the next video that you'll see will be me uh, giving the tour of the room. So let me take you to the elevators real quick. Nice decor. Here's the elevator bank. Here we go, in the elevator. Nice elevator. Alright, so here we are now on the seventh floor after taking a fast elevator ride. Elevators are quite quick. Um, but the one thing you have to be wary about when you're here, uh, the elevators are very silent and they don't ding. So generally when you're here and you're waiting for the elevator, you just have to kind of look around because sometimes the elevator might be there but you didn't know. Um, so the next video you'll see or the next part of this video you'll see is uh, us in the room and uh, me just giving you a quick tour. Hello everyone on YouTube. This is a video tour for the waterfront La Hoog in Cebu City, just so you have an idea of what it's like. We are staying here at room 732. What you want to try to do is ask for a non-smoking floor, just because it's a lot easier to breathe. There's no one smoking in the hallways and everything like that, and you can't even smell or feel any smoke coming from the other floors. So here's our room. This is actually our last day, so don't mind the mess. Um, because we are packing and getting ready to leave. Of course, when you come in, depending on where you are, you have a view. You either get the city or the mountain. We got a city view. Basic room, not bad. Here's a little containment area that they give you. Don't mind the food. Um, you do get two free bottles of water every day, these small ones, so that's actually pretty good. Um, nice size bed, that's my wife, don't mind her. Two side tables, some great chairs. Here's the view from our room. Not too shabby. And of course your view only gets better if you get one of the higher non-smoking floors. Or they also have higher smoking floors, whichever one you prefer. Nice little table. Trash can. Flat screen TV, which no one bothered to say anything about on the reviews. And of course all the rooms. We believe this is either a standard or a deluxe, but you know, you get a little closet, 
And um, I don't know if you can really see that, but there is a safe in the closet um, on the seventh floor, these seventh floor rooms. And of course, basic shower, tub, very nice, vanity, and of course, a toilet. And um, of course, they give you a toothbrush and cotton balls every day. They replace your toothbrush kit. So that's your tour for the waterfront La Hoog, um in Cebu City. Um, if you come, it's a great hotel to stay at, and the rooms are great. They make your room every day very comfortable, and uh, the pillows are also great. So uh, thank you.